Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss top. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, outstanding, official Miss Jamaica. Well, go on, you know, my dad. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, um, Patreon, everything. But if you want to see our full-length interviews, definitely check out our Patreon, but also our YouTube membership. That's where you can find our full-length interviews before he start clipping it. All right? Thank me later. Man, he, that, he here. He here. He in the building. Goat. Say, man, the guy who everybody knows when, it, when he hit the internet. Oh, he calling things out. He putting things up. He, he's informative, man. Trill talk, no pill talk is in the building. I'm here at the number one blog in Texas is in the building. Yes. Wow, you stepping right on up to the plate, huh? Yes, I am. You want all those darts thrown at you. Do you know the one that say stuff like that? They coming good. for I fight good. Wow, not like that. They're not fight good that on the internet? Yeah, internet, internet, anything. I'm fighting back. Wow, man. Um, Just, um, you know, watching you push and, and move uh consecutively like you do especially you know your instagram the way people marinate with it uh all the people see it people come in powwow come in uh all type of different people i just always see different people lo locking in names who's some other people that rock with you like on there it's a lot of them um, esg for sure yeah, stack five uh it's man it's so many people on there it's a bunch of them. I, I don't you know i don't even get caught up in the night no more i feel like i'm one of them now they you know they they just regular people to me on there now. You know, I feel like I didn't know. Nah, I feel you. Know, you. As yeah. you should. As yeah. you should. You put that work in. Yeah, they put their pants on two legs at a time. I mean, one leg at a time, just like me. <laughs> two or one. <laughs> like, two, one. I'm, a, I'm two. I do mine two legs at a time. You they do this one at a time. Oh, you sit yeah. on the bed. Yeah, I'm different than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, like, like, what's been going on, man? What's the most interesting story that you, you've you had to report on as far as, you know, lately. posting? Le you know, like, you know, here lately. Um... Would probably just be man. Uh, these niggas going to jail, man. And and, and pro well, no, nah, I would say big pokey. Big pokey would probably be the that biggest, was one that, that, that I felt like. Thing, yeah. yeah, I I, I seen that. That one. was messed up right there. That was messed up. And then like a lot of them people posting it, like the video, like uh, I think all that was out of line, man. Yeah, I didn't like that either. Yeah, that I looked at it line. one time. That was it for me. Yeah, and I, I didn't even want to see it. Yeah, it, but it once it's out there, it's gone, bro. But it don't last long. Like people right like now, yeah. it's gone. Like. Yeah. Things don't last long on the internet. Like, like it, it's just got to be be able to handle it though. You got to have that tough skin to handle. You got to have it because it's gonna sting like hell. Quick, quick. Like putting alcohol on. What you think about it, Miss Jamaica? I agree. You 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 seen it when it happened? Mm -hmm. It was something that you just pretty much you like this is crazy for it to happen because you know you younger than me, but but you seen things happen crazy before, but you just never did. It just shocked me. It was big pokey. It shocked me because it was him. That's what got me. Like I didn't, I didn't think that. I didn't think that. Like I really didn't expect. I didn't expect that. It's like because he was going through his situation, and then it's like boom, you wake up and that's happening. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. I, I, you know, I know you. I told y'all when I went down there and did ESG interview, mm -hmm. like like you see this stuff happening, man, in real time. It's it, it affects you in a different way. Yeah, you know them some them some real real you know them real dudes that legends real family all you know family oriented dudes too mm -hmm. man you got know, they kids, got kids man yeah. you know big pokey had a wife and they got to sit there and see that all over the internet yeah that was crazy man yeah. and these people clowns out here too for you know a lot of time doing some of the stuff they yeah. do man I um <clears throat> on a lighter note man well it's a little lighter but it's still a tough note yeah. Um, Earl Spence went down, man. He got his ass whooped. Man, Dallas in last place right now. The Cowboys trash. The rapping trash. All they got is Big X plug right now. That's about it right now, man. Let me ask I mean, you. they got some rappers out there, but I ain't gonna lie. It's, the underground rappers go harder than the Main Street rappers in Dallas right now. But, I'm, but And Earl got the brakes beat off him. You see all them now? He looked like Martin. Raw dog pain. Martin. When Martin beat the, got the brakes beat off him, now he really get to see how it feel to be on the bottom now. Oh, well, how he on the bottom? He just lost one fight, man. man. I'm gonna tell you, but, but, but then right. again, with this fight, man, you got a brother named Stevie, man. You got a brother named Stevie, man. Stevie said he's still in the car with him. I told him he driving now because because Earl ain't driving because he can't see, man. What the Stevie hell? was behind. He your brother boy. He behind. Yeah, him, he he, he behind him, man. And man, Earl took a beating. Stevie, this for you. 
It's you told him that you was going for blood. Yeah, I told him. Long time. Remember, he argued me down. He said that there wasn't no chance. It ain't even a chance. It ain't a possibility. He argued me. We were about two hours that day on the phone. Yeah, he was upset. He argued with Al D, a bunch of somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I told him, I said, I'll let you lay there and lick your wounds all weekend. And you called him. And I called him on Monday. Yeah. And what'd you say to him? I told him Earl got his ass beat. He got dog, man. He and man, it, it wasn't even close. Do you want to see a rematch? I do. You want to see a rematch? You think that's gonna be good? I do. Oh man. I just want to see if he can if he can come up with a man, strategy. I want to see. Man. I mean, I want to see uh, how uh, Derrick James come. He didn't up even with scratch him. He don't. Man, did you see Crawford face? Yeah. Man, that man told him is he called himself the big fish. He brought a net out there. He brought a net out there. He told me the thing. He said it's fish fry season, and I'm finna fry some crappie, and he did it. Damn. He dogged him. You, and, and and you you was cool with it. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. But you know, usually I ride with Texas, but man, everybody in Texas don't be showing these Texas love. So I be like, when they lose, I laugh at them. I laugh at them, man. I that, laugh that, at them. That, don't you think that's, a little, that's somewhat of hating? Nah, man, it's just jokes. Two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs don't make a right, man. But man, think about it. What 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 is Dallas winning in right now? The Mavs didn't make the playoffs. Bro, you can't just put on. You know, I, I, one of them Charlo brothers got slapped up there. Texas took a yeah. hell, didn't he? Yeah, we took a major hell this weekend. In Vegas, yeah. all around us, the nation, we we got dogs. I think y'all and them was scrounging like they was trying to fight. Yeah, what happened with them back there? You I don't know. know about that. I ain't hearing nothing. Like they was trying to get some get back a little Shit, bit. I heard that same rainwater back there. That's what it was. Damn, for real? No, nah, I'm just you, you, you crazy, <laughs> man. You. <laughs> you see a lot of people be showing um, East Texas hate, but East Texas people be showing each other. Oh yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of trash coming out of East Texas right now too. It's a lot of trash coming out there too. Like, everybody ain't got it together, man. Like, really, though, honestly, though, right now, in East Texas, everybody should be pushing DJK right now. He got a big song with T.I. He got a video with him and everything. Like, that's history. I don't give a damn how they want to look at it. He he doing something that ain't nobody ever did. Mm -hmm. T.I. don't even work with everybody like that. Mm -hmm. He ain't. When the last song you heard T.I.? Man, T.I. got songs with Rihanna. T.I. got songs with... That's I'm a talking long about time like, ago. Young, I'm talking about like young recently. Young when have you heard of T.I. doing T.I., I'm just telling the elite group that DJ K just in it. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He just... He just he like on the way yeah, out. He did. Yeah, he did. He went to a situation where ain't nobody really did yeah, it. Because don't it's like not it just not. Any, anybody get up. Yeah. You know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. he got music with certain people, but they are on elite. He got songs with, like, Beyonce Neil. Yes. You know, this is like Lil Wayne. And that's his favorite rapper. When I interviewed him, he said that's his favorite rapper. He said 50 Cent and T.I. his favorite rapper. So he really done did, he done, he really done, he, he's he's created a historical movement for you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> ain't but, no, ain't but nobody you, did I guarantee you, about 50% ain't even going to ride with him. Why? It's just like that down there, crab in a bucket. It's like that, man. It's, it's sad. It's so sad. when he posts his video, you saying... He ain't. It, it, it's gonna be people from other places gonna be hitting yeah. him up. They gonna they gonna fuck with Wade. He's texting. Yeah. It gonna be like that. That song trash mm -hmm. or that song. Okay, yeah. well you down there right now. What are you hearing? Have, have you been hearing that right now? No, nah, I, I, I listen to my the song is out. Everybody. The song I, I, is I out. to the song for a minute. Like I've been, you know, I heard the song before it came See, out. See, I actually the one who created most yeah, of that song. Yeah, it's his producer too. So it's gonna be hard to get around if you do that. You just cause what you say if you, you just if you do that you just pretty much yeah, hate straight up hating. Cause you gotta give him credit just be for getting a song with Ti. Like like most people, I, most people ain't gonna never get no song with Ti. Mm -hmm. Some people can't get a song with Lil Kiki. And, and uh, nobody in Texas, this right here in Texas, but this they didn't got went way to Georgia and got Ti. Supposed to be the king of the south. No, he definitely uh, yeah. put that title. Why you say it's supposed to be? I mean, ain't he really the king of the south? <sighs> Pimp C said DJ Screw, the king of the south. Mm. Anything else said, close your mouth. But that was Pimp back in. But that was back. DJ Screws before T.I. Oh yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, uh, but, maybe but he, he do got a body work. He got a body. I mean, it's, it's still he got a body work. We can't take that. Right. Let me tell you something, man. Ain't T.I. No, didn't put a lot of work in. Can rap. Yeah, he can. I'm gonna tell you something. You can say what you want to say about him, but what you ain't gonna say if that nigga can't rap. No, no, no. He good on everything. That nigga gonna whoever he go in the booth with gonna have a. I tell you this about certain niggas, man. You gonna have a problem. You and he got his song with T.I. before Boosie and T.I. could put their CD out. He got his song with T.I. already. This nigga here working. He working. He got Boosie to the point. Yeah, but Boosie got a friendship with T.I. that he ain't got. But it wasn't that friendship at one point. 
Yeah, they got. He was mad it. about it. Yeah, Boosie kind of Boosie kind of need to mind his business on a lot of stuff. Like a lot of people that. been saying like, that just, lately. Just think about it. Like, like man, I'm gonna tell you, it's a lot of people I know that said that Boosie like they love Boosie to death, but they be like, me watching Boosie on the internet make me not like Boosie. Cause they feel like he think everything he says loud. Like, why do all these sidewalk niggas gotta follow by street rules? If they sidewalk niggas, they ain't in the streets. We don't call that black. Yeah, call that black has been in prison. Everything he's a street but nigga. But he's dog. a rapper. He, this is business. He not doing no illegal stuff with with uh six nine. But he is I'm a street you right nigga. Now, so you if six nine yeah. give you a million dollars right now, would you interview him? And you don't even charge for interviews. But would you charge? Would you do an interview for a million dollars right now? I think about it. I'm gonna interview him. Oh, I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna interview him. I would think about it, but I don't know if I would do it. You know, because you gotta understand, man. We live by code, man. I look at it like a finesse. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know how we used to, you know how they, they used to finesse say, people back in the day. But they say that the only way you're supposed to live by the code, and I'm, I ain't from the streets or none of that stuff. But they say the only way you live by that code is if you on the streets. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, you got a person on the sidewalk shouldn't have to go by if you, the street if you, rules. That's if what I'm you saying. you've been in the streets and you really came so up. So if you retired from the streets, you still got to abide by the rules. Is you mad because I said I ain't going to take the million dollars? I'm just asking. So you tripping on the mill. I told I'm you, I'm the street and I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to ride with boots on this when it comes down to, you know, we just don't, we don't do certain things. We can't. It's against the code. People look at me. You can't call me OG and all that if I'm out here doing clown stuff. If you in, that ain't clown, that you made a mess. So when I ain't never in the history of niggadom have I heard that getting a million dollars been anything clown. But it's clownish. a code if a nigga will go out here telling on people, man. So what are you doing this for? I do this for the culture. So you don't do nothing. You don't, it ain't nothing about the money. You don't want no money from it. I mean, it's cool. I need all accounts, all that routing stuff from your YouTube and all that stuff. Get it to my account because you don't care about the money. You ain't here for the money. No, it's 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 levels to this, man. Like you just it's a code you live by when you when you ain't really just no dude that's out here doing people any kind of way as morals and but stuff. But what I'm you saying is what are you what are you, you doing? What, what are you doing? What are you what did Kodak do with him that he can get in trouble for six nine can't tell on him? Six nine can't he he didn't do nothing illegal with him. All he did was did a verse. It's like he went to work, did his job and got off. So, so you saying he not by street code? No. So it's okay if he And he that. dissed him in the song. He didn't it ain't like he got on there and said he was his best friend. He got on there and talked about the boy. Like that's the big that's gotta be the biggest finesse. I don't his. know, like I said, a million and a phantom rolls rolls. I'm they telling y'all this because I remember I interviewed two snitches, a snitch a legend. Yeah, on her. <laughs> Cornelius Beats. You interviewed him. Wait a minute. But, but you can interview, but you won't interview six nine. Allegedly though. No, it wasn't alleged. That boy snitched. They sold it. They showed that boy was telling him he had have you seen him since then? He came up here and you ain't heard from him since. No, neither one of them. Because he got put out there. Probably both of them was telling. That's how you usually go when they get to telling. They get to hide. They get to hide. No, I don't know what happened to them, but I do know that I did because both of them. Uh, yeah, you had you listened to the thing and everything. But they were pleading they case, But you wouldn't though. get a million dollars from this man. I ain't. I don't know 6 9 and what he went through, man. I, really I watched the documentary for the first time. I ain't going to lie to you. How was it? I, you know, I was big on us. I don't, man, I watched it and I ain't going to lie to you, man. He brought that on himself, but them niggas is out of line, man. That's like, you a street nigga, all y'all in the streets, y'all doing all this shit. Y'all bring a nigga that's over here working at the at the deli over here. You bring him into your gang and let him be the leader. And then you start trying to extort and trying to take his money. When you don't get your money away, you want to kidnap him and rob him, knocking his old lady down, all this kind of stuff. And then the police, you know how they got him to tell? His driver was telling the whole time. His driver ended up being an informant because they found out that he was they was taking him on like all these little uh, what you call them uh, they were sliding or whatever you know what they I'm saying? slide they were sliding and they was had this in dude driving video, yeah like they, they got a they got a dude that's a regular Uber driver mm -hmm. he just riding them around and they got him in all this gang shit and they didn't mm -hmm. the ice came and got him because he was a he was a, he was a immigrant like he was an immigrant or something they came and got him and they told him like he you got said with the Billy stuff. gang huh did you say the Billy gang no nah, they had him in the gang. Oh, like they 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 consider part of the game. Like oh, I be thinking about when I, when I hear Billy Gang, I think about um, Bobby Billions. Bobby Billions and nah, his nah, boy. That's a different and, uh, level. That's a, nah, but they they did him dirty. Like, and when he told, like, they had him in there. What they had the boy in there talking, and they showed him a thing, ticks in the in the visual, in the voice of them niggas talking about they was gonna kill him in two weeks. Like they was gonna kill six nine. So what do you think he gonna do? They done mess with his old lady. Robbed him, kidnapped him, took his money. At the end of the day, they want to lord him. So why should he be lording him? So, so in the in the rules in the street now, you got to be loyal to who not loyal to you. That's what they saying. That's what you saying. 
I thought you was a Boosie fan, though. I am a Boosie fan, but I just feel like Boosie, that ain't my business. Like, certain stuff happening, it's not my business. I get it, but at the end of the day, I do know that these niggas, they, they all telling that. But Boosie niggas. gotta stand on that. But, yeah, exactly. Look how many people have told. Garner done told. Thug, Thug, Thug ain't told him and Lucha about the realest niggas in the world right now. Wow. Man, you know, you a trip, man. You know, um... I gotta ask you, top five bloggers. Um in 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 Texas? Uh number one trill talk, no pill talk. Okay. And you stand on that. Mm-hmm. Number one. They ain't they ain't repping Texas like me. Some of them ain't from Texas. So what makes you number one is if you're repping where you're from. No, nah, it ain't just that. It's what I do. A lot of them like now I'm I'm, I'm gonna put tune at number two. Tune at number two? Yeah, I'll put tune at two. I ain't putting say cheese. I ain't even considering say cheese in this. What about what then about I the Bob say, report? Uh, Bob report. Mm, I put him about ten. He on down there. He, but he he working. Um, we got um. I mean, I'm just saying, man. We got we got uh, trill talk, real tune. Um, um, Dallas Global. Um, man, Texas talk. Um. That's five right there. That's five. Yeah, that's it yeah, right that's there. That's about it right there. Cause um, I ain't gonna lie, man. I mean, a lot of these Texas bloggers don't talk about Texas. Like they don't even get a OGs. No, no, they don't give them no credit or none of that. They don't play like it might be twenty years to date. This album came out. I might post that. You know what I'm saying? Like UGK come out twenty years ago. This day, I might post that. You ain't gonna see them other bloggers doing that. They ain't gonna get into Texas. They ain't gonna try to go, you know, talk to the real Texas. Like they, they on the new stuff, but. In order to get the new stuff, they had to go through the old stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get it. I know you're talking about East Texas earlier. I know East Texas have something called 903. Yeah, um, 903 day. day. I'm finna have What is that? Day. Okay, first off, okay, we're gonna get this. What which camera do I need to look in? This right here? Mm hmm Okay, they got a 903 day coming up down there. I, I started this. I started this 903 day. I started this 903 day. So now we got some guys coming up out of here. They ain't they ain't I don't, I don't even think they from East Texas. But I'm I'm already in plan this 903 day. And I'm gonna have the East Texas artists come out there. We're gonna play East Texas music. We're gonna listen to East Texas music. We're gonna barbecue. We're gonna do what East Texas niggas do. They done brought Boosie down here. They trying to charge boys to perform in the Boosie. And then try to call the 903 day. And ain't got nobody from East Texas on there, on, on the show. When did that happen? It's called but they need to call it Ratchet Fist. Because it ain't 903. It ain't 903. Did it already ha no, happen? No, it's, it's supposed to happen on 903 day. September on the 3rd. same day. Yeah, on the same day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's just another time I Do show y'all how they people? try to come down here and they, they gonna get theirs and they gonna leave you and know? they gonna show no love. Do you I don't know, know them? them. I, ain't, I ain't heard them. Never heard them. I don't know who they are. So did you go and address them? No, nah, I'm addressing them right now on Boss Talk. Hey. What the Boss is Talk? What the Boss is Talk? We flip it out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, do you think some? you don't think nothing wrong with that? Yeah, if I don't know these people, they doing it. But they doing, they calling it 903 day. No 903 call orders. It, for, call you should at least have some, you know what I'm saying? You should at least have some 903 people involved in it like that. Like, I'm pretty sure they got some 903 DJs. But did like, you register you that name? What? 903 no, 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 I, I, no, I didn't. I don't own a name. I ain't going to say I own a name. But so they can use whatever yeah, they name they use want. It, but at the same time, I'm telling you, the real 903 day will be held at the Lake of the Pines in Jefferson, Texas. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have a big festival out there. We're going to have a... ABT rides, we're gonna have all this, we're gonna have liquor, we're gonna have everything you need. We're gonna listen to some East Texas music, we're gonna listen to some mainstream music, we're gonna have some East Texas artists performing, and it ain't gonna cost you nothing. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. But do you think that the people gonna go with wherever the bigger acts are? We finna find out. If they do, we finna if, if they do, we're gonna come back to Boss Talk and we're gonna talk about it again. What did you what did you say when uh when Charlo uh got slapped up there in the uh, bank? Ah, uh, he was less than a man. <laughs> he was less than a man. I mean, old boy caught him slipping. He snuck up. But but then again, old boy said he grabbed him by his face. That's what they say. He said he grabbed him by his face. And when he grabbed him by his face, he told him, "Don't grab my face." And he slapped shit out of him. He slapped him pretty hard, man. But I thought he had. I I heard him arguing with him about it. He he snuck yeah. over and slapped. Him. Yeah, he slapped him. But but, but, but I'm like, but why Charlo would you just let him went get like that this. Like, yeah, he you. just let it like it wasn't nothing. Nah, it couldn't be me. That Texas took some up, losses, uh, man. We took some losses. Like, how did you let him get that close? Uh, you know, like, uh, after know they that. had been arguing, I seen it yeah. on the behind the scene. Mm -hmm. You could see him arguing. Chico, I got to ask Chico Bean. He was there. He was right mm -hmm. there. I seen him standing there. And I was like, damn, like, 
He, he, they were arguing about you touching yeah, my face. Exactly. But why? How did this nigga get close enough to me to slap me? Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie, white boy can't slap me like that. But you understand like, how did I he mean, get? Ain't nobody gonna slap me like how that. How did he get close enough to him after they already had been arguing? Yeah, somebody let him slip through the crevices. How? He's a white guy, like. You um, understand what I'm saying? Y'all already yeah. in the argument. I didn't yeah. touch your face. Yeah. Now five, six minutes go by. And how did this nigga get back close to me to slap he me? Might have thought about it. Them niggas in between thought about it hitting him. That's what it was. <laughs> I don't understand that because really they could have told him like, nigga, you got to move. Yeah, they could have, but they let him slap him. And and he was. But slap I bet you he wouldn't slap his brother like that. I bet you money he would not slap his brother like that. He wouldn't. Hell no, nah. he wouldn't slap male like that. What? Hold on, Mal got slapped. One of them, the opposite one, he he wouldn't got slapped like that. He tough as tenacity. Yeah, he tough as tenacity. But I'm trying to understand how he ended up even getting close enough after they had already had an argument. And it was already saying break it up. And he this hit him with that club punch like Jamie Foxx said. You ease through that crowd, get through that crowd, no. and hit him and get on up out of there. Mm -mm. Yeah, man. Man, well, it was tough. That that was a hell of a weekend for Texas. Man. Oh, but another thing, I ain't getting off subject, but I got an artist now. You know, we got we pushing this R&B artist, Delicia J. Okay. You know, I, I filmed one of her videos for her. That's another thing right now. That's kind of the evolution of Trill Talk. I'm doing a, you know, I'm a, I'm doing videos now. Yeah. I'm doing videos. Uh, you doing video? I'm doing directing videos. You need me to give a treatment for your video, I can do that. You know, I, I'm I'm pretty much hands-on with everything now. I know I done took it to another level. But y'all definitely need to listen to Delisha J. We're going to bring her up here soon. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She she doing shows. She went on a tour. The Soul Ties tour. She did that, man. Like, she she really doing it. Y'all see it on my page all the time. Y'all see it. But, yeah, she, she, she got some big stuff going on right now. Wow. Do it. Yeah, how's Drake's career going? Is it climbing? Drake the man. So it's climbing. He the man. He the man. Drake is the man. He's the man. I don't know about that female stuff, but other he than that, the, he, he the man. Finger. Yeah, he the man. He the man. Yeah, man. You wouldn't paint your fingernail? Hell no. You paint yours? No, but why you ask me like that? Because y'all, it's a new thing. I'm a younger. Than, you are you younger than me? So Miss Jamaica just you told us like, a while ago she be painting your nails, man. No, nah, she ain't you. told you that. <laughs> No, she ain't told you that, man. So, do so you think that when Cardi B throw that mic at old girl or, and hit somebody else, because I seen the whole video. She did twice, and she told them to throw water on I seen that. Yeah, she told them to throw water on How you just going to just... And then she flipped out on They for sue her. Yeah, I sue. You would sue? It's people that go out there. You know that. It's people that go to them concerts just to, for an accident to happen. She was wrong for that. Yeah. When you and see she the wrong person. She, she didn't even hit the person that threw the water. She hit somebody else. She shouldn't have threw that mic out there like that. Yeah, she did. she did it again, though, in Vegas. She did another one like that. She chunked it to DJ, too. I don't know, man. I guess she want to give some money away. Yeah. I'll take some. She, she knocking the hell out of people. Yeah, she hit him with the mic. She hit me with that mic, though. Me and Officer probably would have tore it up. Man, he was there? No, nah, nah, I'm just saying we probably would have had a problem. She hit me with that mic. You you the gave Molly he was looking for? Yeah, her too. All they were looking for. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna let them, you ain't gonna hit me with no mic. Nah, I would have pressed you. I probably would have fell over. Back would have been broken, everything from a microphone. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you so you wouldn't have let her got away with it? Nah, nah. You would have let her got away with it? You would have paid, you would have sued. Yeah, I, my eyes some it, it probably my neck from jerking it would have been a problem because mm -hmm. cause she just threw that and she had told them people man and I love Cardi B she man. yeah she told them she I'm said, a big Cardi B she fan told them, throw, she said throw water on me I tripped out off of it because I'm like I know Cardi ain't flipped out like this not my girl she took it to the max oh that's your girl now that's your favorite rapper she favorite no rapper? no no Nicki Minaj is I'm a Nicki I'm so a, you like Nicki Minaj better than Cardi B I ain't finna say that. I like both of them. What what makes them different? What what makes what separates Nikki? Nikki is Nikki make lyric. She's lyrical, man. Like Cardi she, B ain't lyrical. Cardi B more. She got rap bang, bang jam, jamming song. You know it, it it the cadences and the way she talk her lingo. So you'll listen to Cardi B before you listen to Nicki Minaj. I ain't say that because Nikki be singing and stuff. You like how they singing and stuff. I like the way Nikki singing and stuff and. Uh, <laughs> You see me flipping back and forth. You ain't gonna give me. Yeah, he trying to. 
he trying to take me to the, like no but I definitely rock with Nicki because Nicki always have had them lyrics and Lil Wayne and Gucci Man and all the people that she came up through um, really influenced her career you know what I'm saying um, you know you got people like like when you look at the South man me and you go so hard for it when I looked up there and seen that that BET Awards man mm. I really know a lot of the Southern rappers that they didn't get there. I know Birdman didn't make it, but it was a lot of them. Like, it's a lot of talent down here, man. Yeah. And, they still and then I think real. Dougie Fresh, he sung my Dougie from Cali. Mm -hmm. He didn't even seen the real Dougie. Teach me how to Dougie. Yeah. But he came down and did the interview. He did a show with them boys, too. Yeah. He just did a show with them? He did a show. No, he did a show with I them. I was them just now. just like... A couple months, but after y'all interviewed Spain, they did something with Dougie Fresh. It was all on his on his Instagram and everything with Big Spain. He should have said something about that. that. But it was after he came on the show. Yeah, we need to try to figure out how to how to how to this kind of stuff. Like we got to push ourselves to the forefront. Yeah, can't stand back in the back no more. Yeah, that's why I tell y'all that humble word. Y'all keep using that humble word, and I'm not gonna argue with you about that I mean, today. I'm just saying. I mean, that humble, humble and meekness is nothing wrong with being humble. And, and meek, it's, it's a certain, but that ain't what they be trying to tell you when they tell you to be humble. That's just a person telling Who you shut up, you to be shut up, because you're doing it bigger than me. That's what they mean when they tell you to be humble. You said that, but then you seen a lot of people chime in and, and took it there. Who was it? Wallow. Yeah. There was another little cat. I don't Wallow know I mean. said it. Then um, who it was somebody? It was another dude. He said on his I, thing, I and they all took it from boss talking. Took it on, you, and they said made it like they, you know, nah, you know how they go. Now. Man, do you think people still ignoring boss talking like that? Like, are they? They do you think they seen it and he just like I ain't gonna acknowledge that? Hell yeah, they just be hating. What? <laughs> I just be hating. A lot of them be hating. Like they don't acknowledge it or none of that, man. It's, I mean, I guess you it's ain't getting numbers. We from the south. I guess we ain't getting numbers or nothing. They say. We just got the same working. thing when Birdman sold all the millions and and, and masterpiece all the men. They still tried to hold their nuts, and then you know how it go. And the money came in though. Mm -hmm. That's what I hope. That's how Matt, Matt Speed wanted to get some money. Like G, GDP came on here and let y'all know. Shout out to GDP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he showed y'all was talking about the stuff where they were trying to make it like we balance and stuff like that. They yeah. do that all the time. That ain't just start. They've been doing that. And Matt Speed them know that. If it wasn't for Matt Speed, Snoop Dogg said that. If it wasn't for Master P, it wouldn't be no money in, in it wouldn't be no money in rapping. Straight like that. Mm hmm He said it. I don't forgot what song it was, but he said that. Think about it though. Yeah. He got an 80-20 deal. That was unheard of. Who in New York did that? They usually go under somebody. Exactly. They really don't. That's the thing about the South. We bosses down here. Jay Prince. Birdman. Master P, Luke, um, who else we got? Uh, Sauce Walker. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, Slim Thug. It's all bosses down here in the South. You ain't finna come down here until well, why Lil I need Kiki. you to do it? Yeah, Lil Kiki, all of them. You, it's, it's, it's so many of them that, that they, we do this stuff a completely different way than they do it up there. Yeah, like they, they, ain't, never, they ain't never seen nothing like this until we did it like this. Think about it. Yeah. Before then, like everybody up there, they ran to they ran to uh, they ran to uh, the big labels and tried to get on. They didn't nobody didn't do that independent till they seen the South doing it. That's Think about hard. It. That's hard. I like interviewing you and GD, man. Y'all be always thinking, man, about like all the detail and mm -hmm. all the different things, man. Like I always ask you about like when they when they say they top five lists like you be like you'll tell me which albums you can go straight through without skipping a song mm -hmm. you be done studied and researched yeah but, but it ain't a lot of them out there like that yeah but they skip the ones we do have mm -hmm. and I always mention Big Mike cause I just remember that summer but it's a lot more Ride, Ride Dirty, Dirty. It's, it's a Lil Kiki Lil Kiki got a, a few of them yeah his first two classics unbeatable Nobody ain't touching. Ain't nobody touching them first. That first two Kikis and that first Fat Pat, it ain't nobody touching. What about that? What about that? Uh, uh, and we can't forget about Power and Chameleon after that. Yep. ESG, the click. ESG, ESG. Like they don't never get those mentions about having just you know those those albums that you can just go all the way through and just and no skips. No, we listen, listen to that. What, what is the last non-skip album you heard? Like in this time of day. 
this 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 generation. Do this I shit. bet you, I bet you money. It's a one, I, 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 I bet you Kiki. money. It's a person that that released Kiki. music back in the day. That's why it's like. I ain't gonna lie, they legends, man. Yeah. Then I put that thing in. I ain't. Mm -hmm. ain't nothing. Same thing. I'm telling you, you know why? Because he know how to create an album. He know how to create timeless music. That like legend. you can listen to them old CDs and it's still talking about stuff today. Fat Pat. You can still listen to that CD and it's talking about science. Like, 25 Summers is dope. I did yeah, that the same yeah, way. Same I did, way. Like, he don't miss, man. Yeah. He don't miss, bro. Like, and Al D. Al D is a oh, yeah, problem. Yeah. He, had, he had a no skip album. A few of well, them. I skipped, one, I skipped one song with him. I told him I skipped one song. Well, I liked it. I liked the song at first, but I didn't like it. I mean, when I first heard it, I didn't like the song. Then I went back and listened. I was like, oh, it's all right. It was the one with him and Power Wall and Kiki. I ain't, like I ain't like this song at first because it was an R and B. I was expecting a swinger slab song when they got together on there, and they were talking about a woman. I'm like, ah oh, man, it kind of disappointed me. Then when I been, then went back and listened to it, it was jamming. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Them boys from Greg Street to all them boys tapped in with that. Mm -hmm. I was so proud of his movement, like the way he, like they 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 loved his music. People from L A. People were tapping in, man, from everywhere. Mm -hmm. They were tapping in with it, man. I thought that was like that was hard, bro. Like, like for him to get that love after he done, you know, he's been locked up for all them years. Yeah. He he probably, like, almost didn't see that happening, you know, didn't know about if he was going to get out here and be able to do that. But he did. You know, because you, when you're in prison and you're taking penitentiary chances and, and, and you you in there going to child takes on a whole new meaning, going to the infirmary takes on a whole new meaning, sleeping at night takes on a whole new meaning. People out there, you know, uh, uh, on the wreck, you know, like, that's a whole new meaning. Like, you don't know. Uh, when I look at him, Brewster, me, you know, just all the stuff that yeah, people go through. They didn't accomplish them dudes by did getting all out them years, man. It make you really think think crazy about the niggas who been out here. Been out here, yeah, 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 like, damn, y'all complaining, but these niggas done did 20 years, 15, 20 years in the pen, come out here, and they done jump started you and got way, they done got way ahead of you. They passed everybody. So that mean that you ain't doing something you're supposed to be doing. You ain't, you ain't like maximizing him. your time. Al That's D done passed a lot of rappers hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was out here been trying to go Al D is the number one rapper in Texas. Period. Yeah, hands down. Best rapper in Texas. Like if you brought him up against whoever, I, I believe Al D can beat any rapper in any era right now. Jay Z out rap him, Gilly Kid out rap him, Lil Wayne he can he can I think he can rap out rap all of them. Boy for boy, I think he can out rap all of them. Al D, yeah, that's a, that's a big man. Yeah, uh, and I'm serious. I'm looking at the camera. I'm dead serious. When you think of Al, who name somebody who can out rap him? I can't. I'm not for even trying to do. Yeah, he Benny the Butcher, all of them. And they go hard. He'll beat. He'll he'll go. He'll eat them all up. And if y'all want to, y'all can put some money on it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got a hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand dollars, like PMC say, hundred thousand dollars. Ain't no person can out rap Al D three hundred. Not not right now. Not right now. Not not no era. Nobody can out rap him. Damn. That's 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 a lot. You putting a lot on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. man. He, when he go in that booth, he just is like, what? What do you? What makes him different? It's it's a it's a bunch of everything. The delivery, the the cadence, the what he talking about, the social commentary, what he talking about, just everything. The lyrics, how he do it together. He don't sound like nobody else. It's originality. Like, man, ain't nobody doing that right now. Like Missy Elliott said the other day, a lot of people grew up, we grew up watching real talented people on TV. Now we watching popular people on TV. Like we ain't, these people popular, they ain't just all that talented. Everybody not talented like that more, they just popular. That's how it is right now. We grew up looking at Tupac and all them, you know, the, the real rappers. Now these rappers like, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of them that's jamming. It's a lot of them that's jamming, but it's like, for the majority of it, it's a lot of just the popular rappers. It ain't no, no real talented rappers no more. Yeah, man. I, like I said, for as producers uh, in the South, what producers do you think go the hardest when it come down to making uh, all producing time? beats? Ooh, all time, I'm gonna say, damn. Ooh, you gotta think it's a lot of big in the South or just period the whole game in the South. In the man, that's a lot. You got Manny Fresh, Pimp C. You got a. Uh, well, so uh, you got Mr. Lee. You got uh, a lot of people don't even think about them. Rick Shot family. The uh, the um, what was they? Uh, Platinum Soul Productions. 
You had them. Uh, you got uh, Jermaine Dupree. Uh, Zaytoven, which really he from California, but Zaytoven would be a Southern producer. Uh, man, uh, the other dude, um, the white boy, they be rap a lot. They be, produ- be, be producing. Man, you know the white dude. I'm talking about he produced a lot. Mike Dean. Mike Dean. Him. Mike Dean. Um, Beats by the Pan. GMB. GMB. Yeah, like, we got a lot of producers down here, so it's hard to name all of them like that, man. Man, you know, it's but just. If I was to say the number one, I'd say Manny Fresh and probably Man- Manny Fresh and Beats by the Pan. That's what I would say. Manny Fresh a beast, man. Yeah. The coldest, one of the coldest. Man, what what do you think when you see uh, the era that they had, the run that they had, Master P and when they did them 28 albums in a year, and then you turn around and you see the Hot Boys and, and the movement they made, you know, nobody has sold more records than Birdman, man, to this day. Yeah. He ain't lying. He ain't lying when he said that. He said nobody. Yeah, like, man, it's the way they did it and how they did it, it's just, it was, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody ever gonna be able to do it like that. For one, you won't be able to do that because now, like, really, they had to work harder. They had to get the music here. Now, everybody got your music already. Like, everybody got your music already. It's just your job to make them listen to it. If you go, if you got a cell phone, if anybody got a cell phone, they got your music if you put it out already. You just gotta make them go listen to it. Like, back then, they had to get you the music and make you listen to it. The last thing I'm gonna ask you about is, uh, Got to ask you about this. Ice Cube, man. They've been asking him about, you know, him and Mac-10. You know, they had a fall yeah. right? <clears throat> do you think he should forgive him and do something? He said he did something he just didn't appreciate. Man, um, some people can do some shit there. Dub, yeah. Dub C say he can't make him do it. You know, they, they, they it's, it's an era that's somewhat past, but do you think holding a grudge is good? No, nah, but at the same time, I ain't gonna let nobody do. It's certain stuff you can do, man. Like that, that's gonna make you. It's stuff people can do that you ain't never finna come back and talk to them again. And like, like I believe what what he's saying though too. Like when Ice Cube said, "Don't nobody want to hear." He don't think nobody want to hear West Side Connection. Like who want to hear that right now? These young dudes ain't gonna want to hear that. We gonna want to hear. It. But the young dudes ain't though. The masses ain't gonna want to hear. Them young niggas don't want to hear nothing. Nah, they don't want to hear nothing. Nobody got to say. They ain't gonna try to hear none of that. They, they ain't trying to hear no mass people. That's like right now, Snoop Dogg. If he would have stopped putting the album out, like he was going platinum every time. Now it's just slowly trickling down. They don't, they don't even want to listen to Snoop. Man, he the OG. They want to listen to Snoop till he put did a song with Young Boy. Then they start listening to him again. And Snoop still putting out jamming music. Hey, that young boy, man, got everybody confused, man. Yeah. They can't stop young boy. Young boy, young boy got these. He, he man, what's up with that ponytail? What is up with that ponytail he had? He, he had some white family that I man, don't know who the fuck was. ponytail with a man. Oh, oh, man, dog. He like, did that little dance. You know, I thought about niggas in, in Gas Assembly when he did that little oh, dance. Oh, man. My uncle did what's up. You seen that little dance he Looks did like when he pulled his Vivian. pants up? Somebody from Vivian or something. I didn't pull his pants up. I said, that nigga going in. Man. Young boy, man, he he got these kids hypnotized too, man. They love him. What is it's like he do? Tra- I don't know. They got him in a trance, man. I ain't gonna say his music bad. It just ain't all for me. But you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't listen to him and actually say, "Damn, man, yeah, he, he got, got that's what I say. He makes it. He got some." But I'm saying like, oh, you ain't just gonna catch me just banging young boy all the time. What he be saying on there? They just be too sad for me now. I be wanting to hear some happy stuff. I don't want to be riding here all that shit. Like Rod Wade. Rod Wade was jamming like a mug at first, but it's like, he damn, yeah. Out. He ain't really just been dropping nothing, have he? I be wanting to hear some happy music. Rod Wade be talking about killing himself and all that. I don't want to, I'm be, I just don't understand. That's some Zero type shit, like Zero used to be. Man. I'm past that now. I ain't, I ain't on that level no more. I'm happy now. Man. So, man, like, like I said, how can people get a hold of you if they trying to rock out with you? I mean, uh, you they can get a hold to me at Trill Talk, No Pill Talk, underscore one. They can get uh, a hold to me. Trill, just put in Trill Talk, no Peel Talk on anything. It's going to pop up, man. I'm, I'm going to start a new podcast on my uh, YouTube. That's hard. Like, um, I'm going to turn Trill Talk, no Peel Talk into a TV network. I'm going to get, like, all kinds of different shows on there and all that. Like, I'm going to have a podcast. My boy Will Book from the hood, you know what I'm saying? That's we gonna, hard. We're going to have a little podcast. And then I'm like, I want to have, like, a video countdown on there. Uh, um, 
Man, like even show some hood movies on there or something. Even if a person got a hood, you got look right now. If you got a you got an idea about like filming a TV show, like a little little smile TV show, like short films, whatever. Come holler at me, man. We're gonna put it on here and we're gonna work some numbers out and we're gonna get it on the trail talking no pill talk. We're gonna turn it into like a BET. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have the whole rundown. You might come in in the morning. You're going to get the morning videos. You're going to get this at the daytime. You're going to get a little news section in there. You know, you're going to go on and get some video countdowns in there. We're going to go and have a podcast where we're talking like kind of funny and stuff like that. And then we're trying to get some shows in there. Man, December, end of the year, mm -hmm. Earl Smith puts on 154. And he comes out. He going to get his ass Hold beat. Up, man. Let me finish, man. <laughs> you He 154. Man. Crawford, he won fifty four. So you, so you believe in Earl Spence? You think he's just a man like that? You think he gonna come back and beat that boy? I'm saying, do you see him having a chance, bro? What is that? Look at his face. Look at his face. Look, man. Man, he got did bad. He don't stand a chance, man. He, he I, 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 man, I might bet the house on, 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 on Bud next time, man. That's why he might end up losing. Numbers go crazy. Oh man, I don't see. Man, it wasn't even competition. He didn't. You think? Do you really think Earl Spence fought his best fight? Man, the man. They said a man got neurology. Neuro. Neuro. What you say? The neuro. Neuro. Neurology. He got some brain damage, man. From that Rick, man. Like Roy Jones said, man. How you going? Who said that? He has the that. doctor. Uh -oh, the, doc uh -oh. the doctor. Hold on. The doctor. Hold said on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. For the show, hold you on. Uh -oh. When you say the doctor, is this his doctor? <laughs> you said what? Is that doctor that you're pulling up? Is that his doctor? Man, I don't know. Like Roy Jones said, uh, 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 man. Uh, hold on, hold do you, do, do, did, on. He didn't look high when he doctor? came to the ring. You? He looked different. Exactly, and he got plastic surgery. Man, that man's face was red, red in that boss talk stuff up there. Man, he got the break speed out for him. Man, he didn't. Man, it was worse than Marvin's marvelous Marvin and Hagler when he beat up uh, Tommy the Hitman Hearn. Man, it was bad. He got dogged real bad. And I, I just don't, I'm like Stephen A. I just don't, I think he should contemplate um retirement. You only got one loss, just he gone. He said it, didn't he? Yeah, he got all them ankles out there. Go live your life, man. Don't don't get in there and get no, uh, they, what's that, that CTE and stuff and getting your head beat up. Because, man, he hit him 100, 30-minute fight. Just imagine, 30-minute fight. In 30 minutes, I hit you in your face with number power shots 170 times in 30 minutes. That's what happened. It was 150 or 100. Either way, in 30 minutes, you can hit that many times in the face with power shots. Man, he ain't right, man. Yeah. Him. It's a lot of people been on this show said he he can come he can come back. Well, when y'all get ready to bet next time, just holler at Trill Talk, no pill talk. I'm a betting man. I'm ready. I'm ready to bet. And I ain't been with Earl. I told y'all, four years, when COVID was here, I told y'all, Earl gonna get his ass beat when he fought Crawford. But this buzz for you. Good win. Damn. Say, man, I'm going to end it on that note, man. This man has no heart, man. You in Dallas, and you ain't showing no love to Earl Spence. You I'm showing love to Big X the plug. Damn. Yeah. You know, you you you, you got a hell of a brand. <laughs> <laughs> Say, trill talk, no pill talk, talk. No pill talk, man. Hey, man, this has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out. Come on.